Okay guys, we are trying air fryer Korean fried chicken. And uh, we're gonna, you have to do wingettes. Gotta do wingettes. Um, if you don't do those, it's not gonna be cooked thoroughly, so do wing wingettes. And we're gonna use our new air fryer over here. And I think it's like a Ninja Foodie XL. I don't know what it's called. It got two baskets, y'all. One and two, you can cook them two different temperatures. This is the first time we're gonna use it, so bear with us. But for your brine, we did ours overnight. So you're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt, uh, one tablespoon, oh, tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of salt, tablespoon, 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 a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, and clearly we like Javi, um, a tablespoon of garlic powder, tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of white vinegar, uh, and then, oh, I forgot the black pepper, y'all. Black pepper, I just sprinkled it in there until I felt like it was enough. It just says pepper to taste. And then you do three cups of water. Okay, we used um, chicken wingettes in the brine. Not the family pack, y'all. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do the dry batter part. And it is cake flour, potato starch. This was hard to find. And you can use cornstarch instead if you don't have, if you can't find that, because it was pretty hard to find. And this is in the cake aisle. And then we have baking soda, salt, and pepper. Of course, we got Javi again. We're gonna do a cup, two cups of cake flour. Go. Okay, and bear with me, cause Lord, I'm not graceful by any means. Oh, see what I mean? And I'm putting this in the wet batter bowl, so don't judge me. Oh, hell. This. OMG, y'all. And we're going to say that's enough because I messed up the first one. And then we do a cup of this potato starch. Oh, that was easy to open. We got two tablespoons of this baking powder. There's a lot of white stuff in here. I said two, right? One and two. Go. Okay, I put my Two teaspoons of salt and my fourth a teaspoon of black pepper. Mix that all up in here. And then we're going to take a cup of this and put it in our wet batter over here. Go. So I took a cup of my dry stuff and I put it in this bowl. And we're going to pour this cup of water. And that'll be our wet batter. Go. Okay guys, we are going to take them out of the brine into, oh crap, pause it. Bingo. Okay, we're going to take this out of the brine. We'll put this in here to drain it out and then I'll put it in a different bowl. Go. Okay guys, we are going to um, coat them dry, wet, three times. Cause it's gonna be extra crispy. And um, 
it may have looked weird earlier i forgot if i was supposed to do dry or wet first so bear with me this is the first time i'm doing this so we're gonna put it in the dry and do it three times because it's gonna be crispy if you don't you're gonna regret it and go okay guys so um make sure you guys get some cooking spray or if you don't have cooking spray you can use oil and you can um brush it on but you need to coat these because they gonna look like a powdery mess if you do not so i'm gonna spray them down i mean be generous Go ahead. okay guys so got them all sprayed down flip these over and spray the other side Go. okay guys we are using our ninja for the first time and we're gonna put it in here we're going to put it on 360 for 10 minutes and then flip them. Uh oh. So I'm, oh, I gotta put it on the air fry. Be smarter than the machine. And then on this one, it's double sided. So I'll put the, the temperature and then the time. And I, we're gonna put it on 10 minutes. Ah. And then match cook. And it'll go on the other side. Okay, ours is a little smaller, so we can only fit about maybe four or five on each side. Don't overcrowd them, give them a little space, and then start to cook them. Oh. Okay guys, so we're gonna make this um, hot chili sauce, sweet and spicy sauce. Um, this is the pepper paste and ketchup, light corn syrup, Thai crushed chili and garlic, minced garlic, and this Pearl River Bridge soy sauce. Okay, so a little bit of backstory. We had to go to a Korean store, and it was a heck of a time trying to find this stuff because we didn't know where to look. This is um, hot pepper paste. I don't know how to pronounce that, but find that at the Korean store or an Asian store. This is one that we have seen a lot of it's popular it gives you good flavor and it's light soy sauce it gives more flavor i guess more than the regular and the dark kind and i kind of won't get with this i could not find the red pepper flakes that we needed so i just got these because it's as close as we was gonna get and then of course ivy and go three tablespoons of water you got eight tablespoons of corn syrup. Ready? Yeah. One tablespoon of minced garlic. I like my garlic, so I'm gonna make sure I get that all in there. Whew. I forgot about the sugar, y'all. High V, of course. Three tablespoons of sugar. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, I'm going. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And it's going to. And go. Two tablespoons of these crushed peppers. I'm cleaning this in between y'all, I promise. Okay. Do a tablespoon. I think I keep saying teaspoon y'all and I mean tablespoon, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, we got five tablespoons of this here ketchup. And I just washed this spoon off with this, that red pepper paste. Jesus Lord, be a fence. Hold your breath when you rinse it, y'all. Hold your breath when you, when you pour it in the spoon because <laughs> it is hot. And we're going to make um, some sweeter kind too because uh, we old and we like 30. We're going to stir this up and then boil it. This is the chicken fresh out of the fryer. You might have to cook it a little bit higher than 350 or 360 depending on your air fryer. This is before the sauce. This up over medium heat and let it boil. Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna do this honey sauce, honey soy sauce. So it's four tablespoons of soy sauce, six tablespoons of honey, one tablespoon oyster sauce, one tablespoon chicken bouillon powder, one tablespoon minced garlic, half a cup of water, and one Vietnamese dried chili, but we just gonna do a little tablespoon of that. You just do that. Six of those. Okay. Go. One tablespoon of this oyster sauce. Go. And these Korean chilies, I'm just going to shake it a little bit because it calls for one chili. Go. And then boil that on a medium heat. When it starts bubbling, it's done. Go. We're just gonna pour a little bit on here. We're only gonna do two, because we all know how hot that thing is. And go. I'm gonna try to do this little toss. And it's not tossing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and there you have it. And the honey soy sauce is boiling. So we're going to take that off and you have to brush these. You can't uh, roll it over. You have to brush it on the wings. Go. Okay, this one we're going to brush on because if you don't, it'll be really soggy. All right, guys, I got the husband getting ready to try it. Be mindful of the time because it takes a minute and he'll get hangry. He's gonna do the soy, honey soy first. That's very good. That air fryer did a good job. I like probably a little bit of spice in that. This is the sweet and spicy one. We did have to cook our chicken a little longer in our air fryer. That's pretty darn um, delicious. I definitely can't wait till the next time we eat this. Highly recommend it. See you guys at dinner. Bye.